Good morning, everybody. How are you all doing this morning? I am, I'm doing well. I'm headed to work after a very wonderful weekend um, in Dallas. My husband planned the most beautiful weekend over in Dallas. And if you haven't seen my birthday vlog, you should go over there and check it out. You should check it out. I'll link it somewhere um, or in the description box or something. But check out my birthday vlog. I had a wonderful birthday. Everything was great. I also, um, um, by, by the time this video goes up, you will have seen, uh, I will have posted my um, vlog about the maturity principle and what growing older means for me, what I've learned over the years, um, some things that uh, I have you know, learned about myself, some things I've learned about, um, ways that I've reacted to things that were not beneficial for me and to anybody else, and things that, ways that I have reacted that have been beneficial. So I've learned a lot of things like that over the years, and I suspect and hope that I will continue to learn and grow and be better. That is my goal. But yeah, I am headed to work, y'all. It is March 15th, a beautiful Tuesday. It's supposed to be in the 70s today, I think. But did I tell y'all that three days ago? Yeah, it was snowing three, three nights ago, it snowed. Yeah, I, I think I put it in one of my vlogs already. Yeah. So it's anybody's guess what the weather will be. You know, spring is, the first day of spring is Sunday, I think. It's anybody's guess <laughs> what our weather will be. But yeah, I am uh, excited about the newness of it all. Spring is such a wonderful time of the year. I always considered myself a spring baby, but truthfully, I was born in the winter. I was the last week of winter baby. <laughs> Yeah, I was truly born in the winter, but I, I like to think of it as a spring baby. My daughter, on the other hand, my youngest girl, she is a spring baby. But it was, I remember when she was born, it was cold. Um, it was March 29th, and it was, it was warm the day before, but by the time I brought her home from the hospital, which was on um, March 31st, she was born on the 29th, on the 31st, it was cold. It was chilly outside. So, yeah. But anyway, we didn't, y'all didn't get on here to uh, talk about the weather. So, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I hope everything is working in your favor. I am getting on off to work. I hope we have some exciting things to vlog about this week. I hope. Oh, this wig, someone had asked about this. This is a wig that I had maybe five years ago. It was a longer wig. It's a thick wig. I ordered from Amazon from a company called CC. They are no longer on Amazon. I haven't been able to find them anywhere. CC wigs, those wigs were bomb, okay? The hairline needed a great deal of plucking and customizing, but the wig itself was really good. Now, they, they had the most humongous caps because <laughs> this cap is so big. But other than that, the wigs were really great. The hair was great. And as you can see, it lasted. I've dyed this wig probably three times, three or four times. And so I cut, uh, it was long. It maybe was 18 inches or so, uh, or 20 maybe, probably 18. And so I um, cut it to where it was shoulder length. And then I've cut it again to where it's this cute little kind of swing bob situation. And I uh, made me a little bang. So this is what I wore for my birthday. I always try to, you know, wear something different for my birthday. And I love it. It's giving me this seven kind of 80s type of feel. And 80s, you know, when we used to wear the um, roller sets, 70s, 80s type, big fluffy hair. Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm getting from this. But, and you know, that's an idea. I may do a roller set on this. Hmm, 
that's an idea okay y'all i'm going to make my way on to work tomorrow i have a, a dentist appointment or an orthodontist appointment so that's going to be a separate vlog another braces update and to you guys who watch those braces updates thank you all so much those my braces updates are my highest viewed videos today except for yeah today um since i started back posting now i do have a video from about eight years ago that has a lot of views but since i've been vlogging my braces videos are my highest viewed videos today and i thank you guys so much for watching i've gained some new subscribers all of you guys welcome 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 i hope you enjoy your time with us and to my og subscribers those who've been with me from the beginning uh who've been with me for months you know i love you thank you so much i appreciate you guys so much i appreciate my little family of youtubers i appreciate you guys and not little family my grand family my large grand abundantly blessed family of youtube subscribers all right y'all i will um get on down this road pay attention and i will chat with y'all later y'all have a good one here yeah i just too truly made it just about to work and realized i didn't have my office keys so I had to run home and get them it ain't monday but it's your monday getting out here <laughs> all right y'all i'll see you in a little bit In so long it seems like it has been such a long time since I blogged and it actually kind of has been a few weeks because who y'all I have been working I have been working 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 I've been doing some um, contract work with uh, the US Department of Education and babies Ooh, I almost missed getting my ferns this year. Y'all know I, I love being out in my garden. And so I was like, oh my goodness, wait a minute. It is, did I close my door? Yeah, it is, uh, I was like, oh my gosh, it is almost the end of March. And I haven't even gone and picked out my, my things from my, my flower beds and stuff. I was like, what am I thinking? And then I was like, and you haven't been vlogging, girl. They're taking up all your time. <laughs> but you know, I don't get any coins for YouTube <laughs> yet. It shall happen. I am remaining hopeful and prayerful <laughs> that you all are going to, uh, my videos are going to reach a wide audience and uh, a wider audience and I'm going to get more subscribers and so that all the time that I'm putting in to uh, create content will not be in vain but i mean i enjoy it so and i hope that um you guys are enjoying it and if you aren't tell me what would make it more enjoyable i appreciate um the feedback Whew. but yeah yeah i am running out i gotta pick up a couple things and then i gotta get right back to the house and get right back to work because uh, i'm reading applications reviewing i do kind of um, proposal review and so I'm reviewing proposals and 
drafting comments and you know all of that sort of thing so I gotta you know really spend time on that and really be focused on that so that's what I'm doing but uh, I'm gonna find time to vlog and share with you I hope everybody's having a good day I hope that it is a beautiful day wherever you are because it is certainly beautiful here y'all it is March the 28th uh, and the weather is lovely it is uh, it was even more lovely yesterday it was the sky was so blue not a cloud in the sky but today we got a little bit of cloud cover but anyway y'all I'm not the weather reporter y'all don't want to hear about it but anyway I hope you all are doing well uh, do me a favor guys if you are not a subscriber and you just happened upon this YouTube video maybe via a YouTube recommendation or it just showed up in your um, you know list of videos or what have you please subscribe I love it when I get new subscribers and to my subscribers who are who have been with me since day one or to my recently subscribed people thank you so much I appreciate you all you are amazing you are wonderful I thank you and you know what we got our little family we got our little you know trade family I I, I love that so um you guys um share this video with your family and friends please thumbs up the video and leave me a comment i will respond i enjoy interacting with um the commenters all right y'all let me get on down this road and get my day started and i'll talk to you all later Toodles. so the next day is going to be my daughter's birthday and i wanted to get her this bouquet of flowers this particular bouquet of flowers but they were not going to be able to get them in in time because they didn't have all the flowers that were needed for this and it has her favorite colors like purples and things like that so I decided to use my skills and put together a flower arrangement that closely resembled that particular arrangement so I went to the store picked up all of these beautiful flowers I got them right from my local um, grocery store here in town and they are so pretty and they are all of her favorite colors so I'm going to put together my version of that flower arrangement
all of the her favorite colors, the purples, the pinks, the hydrangea, the rose. I think she's going to love it. So it's the next day and in honor of my daughter's birthday, which is today. Oh, and by the way, she loved the flowers. I gave them to her uh, early this morning because she stayed over uh, last night. So I went into her room singing this morning with the flowers. She loved, loved, loved them. So uh, in honor of her birthday, I am uh, getting ready to... Um, I got to stop by the office, but uh, later on this evening, we are going to go to dinner. So this is my finger calmer wig that I have put on. I uh, just did a few um, flat twists in the front and just put some little rods on the end to try to blend my hair in with this, um, with the wig. This is the elongated fro curl wig, um, the one that I wore um, previously. So I'm just gonna um, work with this and see if I can blend this in and come up with something that looks pretty. So here I am, the style is all done. I kind of just pent the pieces back because I couldn't get them to do what I wanted them to do. I put on a little bit of gel, tied it down, and uh, yeah, it turned out okay, I think. Um, it's a cute little style. It is super windy on this day, so honey, let me put some more hair pins in this wig because that would be truly tragic if I were to be walking along and it flew off my head. But yeah, this is what I came up with and so we're gonna head on to dinner. Good morning, y'all. No, I don't have the camera on me because I am looking a mess, but I am headed outside into my garage. We have some bad weather on the way, so I am making sure all of our, um, making sure all of our devices are charged. So I have a little mini generator, a little power supply, this right here. 
So I'm gonna make sure that is charged. This is good for like powering, you know, smaller devices like your phones, computers and stuff like that. So I'm gonna do that. We have a much larger generator that will um, connect to our breaker box that can power, you know, some of the larger appliances in the house. You know, we live in an area, that, area that's prone to hurricanes and this is the bigger generator here that can power, you know, lots of different things in the house. It runs on gas, uh, Westinghouse generator here. We picked this up the last time we lost power for a few days, which was about two years ago. I guess I could turn it around and let you guys see what's going on. I've been working this morning on conference calls all morning well, my, on Microsoft Teams, and there was no video, so I didn't have to show my face. So I didn't do anything with my hair. I have it in some cornrows underneath this little slap cap. But yeah, so I'm just preparing and getting all that together ah, so that uh, should the weather be really, really bad, which they are predicting that we are um, going to get some kind of severe weather uh, in about the next 30 minutes or so. Sorry about the darkness. So, um, yeah. But in the meantime, <laughs> before that happens, I'm going to run out here real quick. You know, the stuff that I'm concerned about right now is ridiculous. But I'm going to run out here real quick and finish pruning my fiddle leaf fig, y'all. And, I mean, it survived the winter with minimal leaf drop and... Um, a little bit of dryness. So I'm gonna cut off those brown spots off the tips of the leaves where it um, uh, was damaged from dryness, but it already has brand new leaves and it's it's doing so well. And it's full of pollen, pollen, cause you know, spring. <laughs> and so we got a lot of pollen out here. Uh, and we just, my husband just power washed the house three days ago. And it's completely filled with pollen again. And I said, oh my gosh, I know he's going to hate that. But, oh well. But look, let me just show you. Literally just about three days ago. Look, look at all the pollen. Dylan, look at that. All that pollen. It's all over the place. Hey, bud. Where are your shoes? Buddy's here today. But here's my, my fiddle leaf fig. See, it's it's still doing pretty good. It just has a few brown spots on the tips of the leaves. And I did read that I could cut those off. I don't have to cut the whole leaf because the whole leaf isn't bad. It's just those little tips from browning. So I'm going to do that. I mean, from drying. So I'm going to cut those off. And now this one is pretty bad. I don't know if I'm going to cut that whole leaf off. But they said what you want to look for is if the leaf is yellowing. And it's not yellowing. It's just brown and curling on the ends because it's, it was dry. It's water deprived over the winter. But she's a toughie. She's doing well. The guidance says to leave just a little bit of the brown there. But I really want to cut it out. Like, they, see, these are brand new leaves. You can tell because they're so soft. Yeah, I feel the old leaf. That's what it is. Ah, yeah. yeah. And these were not here Sunday. Ah. <laughs> these, <laughs> they are brand new. These are, so I think I'm, should I leave a little piece? Or should I go and cut it off? I cut it all off on the leaves. Yeah. Mm. Like you just don't want to. You just don't want to. You just don't want to. Yeah. They don't want it to damage the leaf. Well guys, I thank you so much for joining me for this vlog. This was a short one because as I said in the beginning, I was working really hard on um, another project so I wasn't able to vlog as much. But there will be more interesting content coming up real soon. Stay tuned for my next braces vlog and other shenanigans that I get into over the next few weeks. You guys take care. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.